according to the Maryland State Police. The number of vehicle crashes linked to marijuana nearly doubled from 2017 to 2018. And during the same time, the number of traffic citations linked to pot increased by nearly 40 percent. Not surprising to Prince George's County Delegate Geraldine Valentino Smith. She introduced two pieces of legislation to address the problem. We've got to try to transcend this notion that it's all right to smoke marijuana and drive. And soon what we're seeing is designated drivers are becoming the marijuana driver. All right, sir, I'm going to give you a warning today. Current law prohibits impaired driving with a focus on alcohol. Enforcement is tricky when it comes to suspected marijuana use while driving. It, it's not a matter of smoking the marijuana, it's, it's understanding what level of impairment the driver may be, may, may be subjected to. The delegate's bill prohibits the driver or any passenger for consuming marijuana in a vehicle. It's similar to the open container law that carries a $100 fine, but the penalty for marijuana use would be $500. It is impairing and that our laws need to catch up with that. In a report to Congress, the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration warns there are currently no evidence-based methods to detect marijuana-impaired driving. So Delegate Valentino Smith is also pushing legislation to establish a task force to study impaired driving and new technologies to detect it. Task force recommendations will help police stretch resources. The driver's behavior and driving behavior and physical condition suggests impairment. We have to request a drug recognition expert, and there may, there may or may not be one working in a particular jurisdiction. The bill's sponsor believes the task force has a shot at passage. However, smoking marijuana in a vehicle in previous sessions has failed to get out of a Senate committee. Reporting live from Annapolis, David Collins, WBAL-TV 11 News.